Hi students. In this session, I am going to explain Kohl-Rashla and electrochemistry topic. Kohl-Rashla related numericals, uh, it plays very important role. Those numericals I am going to explain. Before going to the Kohl-Rashla, I am explaining the Bay-Huckel Ansager equation. This is one of the important concept. For JE and NEET. See here, Dabe Huckel Ansager equation. This is Dabe Huckel Ansager equation. Cap M equal to cap naught M minus root C. He has taken graph here. See, cap M versus root C had taken graph. For strong electrolytes, what are strong electrolytes? Complete dissociation at all concentrations. Complete dissociation at all concentrations. Weak electrolytes, I am writing here. So, weak strong electrolytes, strong electrolytes, <coughs> complete dissociation at all concentrations. Complete dissociation at all concentrations. at all concentrations so examples all strong acids all strong acids strong bases all salts all salts so next you see that's the reason at any concentration will concentration left to right it is increasing this is zero concentration here 5 10 15 like that we are increasing at all concentration complete dissociation that's why we are getting the linear graph like straight line graph we are getting if you want to observe if you want to observe at zero concentration, zero concentration is nothing but infinite dilution. I have written here point C. Cap M equal to molar conductivity. Cap naught M is nothing but molar conductivity at infinite dilution. Infinite dilution is nothing but zero concentration. Zero concentration. See, if you take extra plot here, then it is possible to observe at a zero concentration also. At zero concentration also for strong electrolytes. The same way, he had started uh, giving information for weak electrolytes also. Weak electrolytes see lower concentration like this graph, higher concentration like this. It is different. Lower concentration like this decreasing, higher concentration like this increasing. Right. So here it is not same at all concentration. But he started trying to uh, take graph at zero concentration also. He had taken extra plot. See if he has taken extra plot, it is going up. It is not coming this side. If it is coming this side, then only we can consider it is zero concentration that is nothing but infinite dilution. So that is the drawback of Dabe Huckel Ansager equation. Strong electrolytes he successfully explain at all concentration even at infinite concentration. Infinite uh, con in, uh, zero concentration means infinite dilution at all concentration successfully had explained for strong electrolytes. Strong, strong electrolytes is successful. But weak electrolytes he failed. That is only his failure. He failed to explain weak electrolyte dissociation and infinite dilution. So, to overcome this one, Kohl-Rash law has come. So, generally what are weak electrolyte students? Generally weak electrolytes we are taking NaOH, sorry, NH4OH, weak electrolytes, NH4OH and acetic acid, acetic acid ACOH or else you can write what is the exact formula CH3COOH but in some textbooks they are giving ACOH, both are same, acetic acid. These are generally we are seeing HCL, these are all weak electrolytes. Weak electrolytes he couldn't explain properly, he successfully had not explained at zero concentration that is nothing but infinite dilution. To overcome this one, to overcome this one, Kohl-Rash law had given statement. Kohl-Rash law successfully explained weak electrolyte also at infinite dilution. How he had explained, I will ex I will tell you now. See Kohl-Rash law, what is the statement? At infinite dilution, at infinite dilution is nothing but zero concentration. The molar conductivity of any electrolyte is equal to sum of the contributions made by cation and anion. Suppose students imagine one electrolyte. I am taking one electrolyte. See general electrolyte at uh, infinite dilution complete dissociation. Complete dissociation. At zero concentration is complete dissociation. Right. Individual. Complete dissociation means individual concentrations like the cation and anion we are writing. See if you look into the example you will understand more better. Cap naught NaCl equal to 
lambda not na plus lambda not cl lambda is nothing but individual concentration cap is nothing but overall so at infinite dilution how it dissociating na plus how it is dissociating tell me students see NaCl, how it will dissociate NaCl, dissociate into Na plus Cl minus. This is individual ions. This is overall, right, that I am expressing here. Individual ions, we are representing lambda naught and infinite dilution is nothing but we are representing cap naught. Okay, like NgCl2. NgCl2, how it can dissociate Ng plus 2, 2 Cl minus. So, we have to multiply with the 2 here. So, based on this, we have numerical students. Molar conductivity, equivalent conductivity. Both I am explaining. Molar conductivity, see, see here, suppose MgCl2 is there. MgCl2, how it can dissociate students? How it dissociate? Mg plus 2 plus 2 Cl minus. 1 Mg plus ion is reactive acting means 2 Cl minus is required, right? So, so why? Because its valency is 2. Same like aluminum. Aluminum dissociation means it gives one aluminum reacting means how many chloride ions? Three chloride ions. So, like this. So, this is the molar conductivity expression in finite dilution, okay? Now, node point. Here, most of the students, I'll explain numericals based on this topic, students, then you can understand more better. And see, node 1, what is this? Equivalent conductivity. Equivalent conductivity time different, molar conductivity time different. This plays very, very important role. Listen carefully. See here, MgCl2, how it can dissociate? Mg plus 2, 2 Cl minus, right? Equivalent conductivity is nothing but equivalent weight of any compound equivalent any ion is nothing but atomic weight by valency atomic weight by for salts we are taking what is this total positive charge or total negative charge total positive charge that is n factor total positive charge or total negative charge see what is the positive charge here plus 2 that's why 1 by 2 i have taken 1 by 2 if you if you are not taking equivalent conductivity time 1 by 2 that's all your answer will be wrong this is most important note point je and need okay now this is uh, here no need to take here don't take 2 don't take 2. This is stoichiometric coefficient. I am not taking stoichiometric coefficient here. What I am taking here? What is this? Charge I am taking. Total positive charge or total negative charge. I said no. Total positive charge or total negative charge. What is the total negative charge here? 1. That is by 1 by 1. Okay. So, I will explain some questions students. Then you can feel very comfortable. And next other important numericals we are using formulas we are using here. Cap M equal to K by C. What is K here? K equal to conductor conductivity or specific conductance conductivity its units are simon centimeter inverse okay generally we are representing ohm inverse centimeter inverse or else ohm inverse meter inverse instead of ohm inverse we can write simon okay and the next one more most important one students depends on k units k it is in cgs units that is nothing but centimeters we have to multiply with the thousand we have to multiply with 1000. If it is K, K value, suppose K value something value, Simon, meter inverse they had given. It is SI units. If it is SI units, we are taking K by 1000 into C. K by 1000 into C. Please make a note. It plays important role. Now, after that, alpha, we are calculating alpha. Alpha formula cap M by cap naught M. Cap not M. Next to last one, dissociation constant formula. K A R K. So what is the C alpha square by 1 minus alpha? Related uh, for numericals I am explaining now. Listen. What is the first one? Molar conductivity. So what is the first point? Dabey Huckel Ansager equation I had explained. No? Dabey Huckel Ansager equation successfully he had explained for strong electrolytes even at zero concentration. That is nothing but infinite dilution. But weak electrolytes he couldn't explain. That is the drawback of Dabey Huckel. To overcome this one, Kohl-Rashla has come. Kohl-Rashla had given statements. At infinite dilution, any electrolyte, how it can dissociate? Complete dissociation. So he has taken that. I am explaining now numericals. Listen. Calculate cap naught M for calcium chloride and magnesium sulfate from the given data. From the given data. Sometimes they will give biggest table. Sometimes they will give values like this. Okay. <clears throat> now they are asking molar conductivity. Listen carefully. Molar conductivity different, equivalent conductivity different. Molar conductivity cap dot M of calcium chloride. How it can dissociate students? 
lambda naught calcium plus 2 plus 2 into lambda naught Cl minus. How calcium chloride dissociate? Calcium chloride dissociate into Ca plus 2 plus 2 Cl minus, right? That's it. Now, <clears throat> what is this calcium plus 2? 119.0 plus 2 into 76.3. If you are not taking 2 into here, if you are not taking 2 into here, that's all your answer will be wrong. Okay, can you calculate this one? Can you simplify? 2 into 76.3, how much? 152.6. 152.6 this is 119 so total how much now total how much 271.6 this is your answer this is your answer clear like that we are going to do now magnesium sulfate <coughs> magnesium sulfate how it can dissociate magnesium sulfate cap not m mgso4 equal to lambda naught mg plus 2 plus lambda naught so4 2 minus it is not 2 into how magnesium sulfate dissociate students magnesium sulfate dissociate into magnesium plus 2 plus so4 2 minus both the charges are c one mg ions is reacting with one sulfate only it required not two chlorides means valency is one if you are confusing you can go for another trick also see this is valency two this is valency one one magnesium ion reacting means we have to support two chloride ions but what about the sulfate sulfate charge is two a magnesium also two one one so one magnesium means one sulfate is required simple so you can substitute now <coughs> 106 plus 160 that's it very simple here but main logic if you forgot main important logic if you forgot your answer will be wrong 160 266 160 plus 106 266 this is your answer like that we are doing i hope everybody understood this one why we are taking here two into why we are taking one into okay now next numerical Yes, this is cold rashla numerical. Very, very, very important. Frequently asking question. See here NaCl. All salts. This is a NaCl. NaCl is salt. This is complete dissociation. Strong electrolyte. Next one. NaAc. NaAc. See students. NaAc. CH3COO Na. This is what we call it as Na. AC, acetic acid, AC, OH, they are representing, no, AC, they are representing, both are same. And the next one, what they give, HCl, HCl also strong electrolyte, this is salt, this is salt, this is strong acid, all are strong electrolytes, okay. Now, they had given information, three strong electrolytes, three graphical values they had given to us, they are asking you to calculate, this is acetic acid, AC, what is this? ACH is nothing but what students? Acetic acid. Acetic acid CH3COOH. That's it. CH3COOH. That's it. So this is weak acid. These are three strong electrolytes. I am giving the best shortcut to you. Any, any Kohlrash law question you can apply this best shortcut. What is this? How acetic acid dissociates students? Acetic acid dissociate write down first ch3 covoh gives rise to ch3 covo minus plus h plus okay this is anion acetate anion this is the acetate anion this is proton cation right now look into this i had uh, I have in my in my numerical I have three uh, strong electrolytes which we have to add which we have to subtract that plays important role which two values we have to add which one va which value we have to subtract most of the students are confusing to understand that one I am giving the best shortcut to you this is CH3COOH what is this I'll write add add common ions add common ion common ion means cation and anion add common ion and subtract uncommon 
subtract uncommon that's it if you apply this shortcut it is very easy for you okay now see which is common which is common check it out NaCl any NaCl cation anion is there no it's not there CH3CO minus this is CH3CO minus N yes yes this is common anion is there yes we have to add this one and HCl H plus Cl this is common these are common ions you can add lambda naught CH3CO H equal to lambda naught CH3COO Na plus lambda naught HCl minus lambda naught NaCl. Why we subtracted NaCl? There is no common ion here. That's why uncommon we have to subtract. Can you do can you check it values? What are the values they had given? <coughs> NaCl, you have to take it. NaCl value 120.4. The second value HCl, second value HCl, don't confuse here, second value HCl, 455.9. What is the CH3CONA value? This is NAAC, 91.0. So, if you take values ULTA also, your answer will be wrong. So, okay, now calculate. If you know the trick, that's all. Any numerical, it is very easy for you. 126.4 what is the students 126.4 I am adding sorry that is NACL no what we have to add here tell me CH3COONA that is 91.0 plus 425.9 minus NACL how much 126.4 then you will get the answer that's it like that we are doing can you do calculation 91 <coughs> plus 425.9 how much 516.9 minus 126.4 minus 126.4 then you will get answer 390.5 this is your answer that's all students see how simple so this is every year they are asking board examination whenever you will write board examination and next to GE, NEET, KSET, MSET every competitive exam this question plays very important role this is one question and above question and next one more dissociation constant also they are asking. <coughs> now given information what they, what they are asking the conductivity of 0.001028 mole per liter H2K acid is this much what is the conductivity 4.95 into 10 to the power of minus 5 that is nothing but conductivity is nothing but k i had given no above so write the information k equal to 4.95 into 10 to the power of minus 5 simon centimeter inverse this is this is cgs units you have to remember this one i gave above formulas also next what is the c what is this this is a mole per liter is nothing but concentration c 0.001028 if you if you know the uh, what is this units then easily you can find out sometimes they're taking students uh, this is conductivity that is not conductivity mole per liter is nothing but concentration this simon centimeter inverse is nothing but k kappa conductivity specific conductance next uh, what they're asking what is the dissociation constraint they're asking and the cat dot m information also they had given 390.5 Okay, Simon centimeter square mole inverse. Sometimes this information also they won't give. They will give like above question, they had given no above question, above question answer 391, you know, that all indirect information they will give. First we have to calculate cap not m, then we have to calculate cap m, then we have to substitute. So what is the procedure students? Actually, we are going to calculate k. k this formula C alpha square by 1 minus alpha. I gave above formulas also. Right. So go back and check it. So K equal to C into alpha square by 1 minus alpha. But alpha how to calculate cap M by cap naught M. Cap naught M they had given in the numerical. But cap M they are not given. No cap M how to calculate. 
cap m equal to k by c k by c but depends on unit size said no we have to multiply with 1000 or divided with 1000 this is the cgs units that's why we have to multiply with 1000 is it clear is it clear students this is this plays very very important role okay now substitute substitute and calculate here no need to apply logarithms nothing honest equation is we have logarithms even though i gave best shortcuts two videos i have done the honest equations how to easily remember uh, logarithm values and antilog values also tricks i had given go through that cap m equal to k value k 4.5 into 10 to the power of minus 5 into 1000 by C. How much C? 0 0.001028. Then simplify this one. Simplify. So what you will get to answer students after simplification? 4.48.15 will Please simplify and check it. Any cancellation terms is there you can cancel and you can simplify. You will get 48.15. Okay. <coughs> now this one we have to what is this we have to do alpha we have to calculate alpha how to do alpha alpha equal to cap m by cap not m here also some students they are taking ulta cap not m down always alpha value less than 1 you will get less than 1 you will get keep it in mind alpha always get less than 1 then only your expression is Correct. If you are taking ulta, we are not getting less than 1. If greater than 10 something, big value will get it. That is wrong. So, uh, cap m. Cap m how much? Just know we have calculated, no? 48.15 by cap not m. How much they gave? Yes, 390.5. So, you can simplify. Simplify this one. 48.15 by 48.15 by 390.5 so then you will get 0 0.1233 this is your answer alpha now you know alpha what they are asking k they are asking so now k you can do so see k k they are asking dissociation constant how to substitute how to calculate c Substitute all the information. C you know. What is C students? This is only C. K equal to C. What is the C? 0 0.00028. C into alpha square. What is alpha? Just know we have got it. No less than one value. Square. By. What is this? What is this? Cap naught. What is this? 1 minus alpha. What is the formula? k equal to c alpha square by 1 minus alpha so 1 minus what is alpha 0 0.1233 then you can simplify you will get the answer what is the final answer i am writing here <coughs> after simplification you will get the bigger value 0 0.015276 like this final answer i am writing simplification is easy 1.785 5, 7, 6 into 10 to the power of minus 5. This is your answer. This is your answer. That's all students. That's all. So, this is whole rational numericals. And one more numerical I am giving to you. I am giving to you. See, this is one of the frequently asking question. <coughs> Next to numerical. Molar conductance. Molar conductance of barium plus 2 and Cl minus R here are 127 and 76 ohm inverse centimeter inverse mole inverse. This is information they had given respectively. Respectively. At infinite dilution. At infinite dilution. The equivalent conductance of, listen carefully, what is this? They are not asking molar conductivity, equivalent conductance. Equivalent conductance 
of barium chloride BaCl2 in finite dilution. So here they are not asking molar conductivity, they are asking equivalent conductivity. That to barium chloride. How barium chloride dissociate equivalent conductivity of barium chloride equal to how it can dissociate? Actually, how it dissociate? Tell me barium chloride it can dissociate at infinite dilution. Barium plus two plus two Cl minus. What I said equivalent weight is nothing but we have to multiply divided by n factor. What is n factor? Total positive charge or total negative charge. What is the positive charge? Plus two. We can calculate one by two into lambda naught barium plus two plus what is this? One by one. This is one only. No charge is one. One not Cl minus C. If you know this one, then remaining is very easy. Nothing, just to substitute the values. But if you take volta here by one by two, you are taking no, that's all wrong. Or else two into you are taking no, that's all wrong. Two into means that is molar conductivity. Did you understand what is the equivalent conductivity in molar conductivity? Okay. Now what is the value? Can you substitute 127? This is barium 127 by 2 plus 76. What is answer 299 by 2 so you will get answer 139.52 this is equivalent conductivity okay so hope everybody like this one so Paul Rashla all the numericals I had explained very clearly so please give likes and subscribe our channel encourage our channel inform to all your friends students thank you thanks for watching